Hello, welcome to game three of my division match against Dr. Steelhammer. You'll note that there's no game two preceding this because I forgot to hit record, but it was a nice uh, gear money game where I was able to um, start provincing pretty early and win. Um, if I'm up to it, I'll, I'll post a, a recap video and post the, uh, the kingdom view there. Um, I think that was a good lesson where your single gain, so trying to do encampment plunder stuff doesn't really work. Let's take a look at what's going on here. So um, we're scoring with, with provinces here, it looks like. Um, probably we're doing single province type stuff, but potentially we can, we can get a little bit bigger. Um, Swamp Hag looks to be potentially useful. Um, there's draw on Sonavanto, so that's definitely something you have to consider. Um, there's plenty of gains with Falconer and Butterfly. So like Lookout is a lot better here because you can... You can gain stuff with Falcon. Falcon. Uh, Fal you can gain stuff with. You can trash with early with Lookout and then Butterfly and something useful. Um, not really sure what I want to do on four. It feels too early for Sauna. Feels too early for other stuff. So I guess I'm gonna, gonna start with a Ranger here. Um, and the Ranger potentially can get me two Pixies in a turn, um, which will be nice if I draw it with Coppers. And if not, I just get the Ranger token down. And the ranger draw, I think, is going to be going to be an important draw here. Um, I guess I'm going to get one lookout, lookout versus pixie. Um, the goat is doing a fine job of trashing, I guess. So, like, getting the pixies going, try to hit some good early bruins. Um, the advantage to the lookout is you play it basically twice and you butterfly it. Um, it just thins you all the way up. Um, it's, it's a tough call for me here. I think I'm gonna go with the pixie. But I'm not really sure. Uh, that's a decent one early on. I might have considered taking that just to cycle, cycle the deck. Um yeah, I'm definitely gonna take that because it lets me, if nothing else, buy another pixie. Um so question now, do I want to return this ranger and get a falconer? Um Falconer's good. It lets you, if they grab Pixies or Swamp Hags or their own Falconers. Uh, my bottom three cards are Coppers and four Coppers and a State, something like that. Um, five Coppers? My bottom card's all Coppers? No, I must have, must have an Estate somewhere. Where did I trash my first turn? Trashed an Estate. Not to trash in another estate. Ah, yes, I have a goat. So yeah, four coppers on estate. So <clears throat> I'll just buy another ranger next turn to get my falconer going. Um, huh. Perhaps this was not well conceived because I'm just buying another falconer. <laughs> it's fine. I can just use the falconer to gain a pixie and react to the other falconer. And here I guess I'm going to gain a village because I just added a whole bunch of falconers. Um, yeah, two Falconers in the next turn, which looks to be fine. Um, Swamp's Gift is nice. Uh, Swamp's Gift also activates uh, Falconers. Um, oh, they've gained their Falconer now, too. Okay. So, I think we need another Village. The Villagers are a lot more valuable with the Falconers because I can gain and play stuff that I want to play. I mean, Falconer can even gain a Ranger and then Falconer into it, so gain another Falconer. So that's a quite nice interaction. So I butterfly it into a falconer, so that's a quite nice interaction. Let's see, they draw their falconer, they're going to gain something. I assume they're probably going to activate my falconer here. It seems unlikely that they wouldn't gain dual type. Uh huh, pixie. Okay. So, um,. Falconer, I think I'm going to gain a Ranger and a Pixie. Um, I want to get my Ranger token down here. Um, oh, sweet. Yeah, definitely grab that. So I'm going to grab a second Ranger and a second, another Farming Village. Farming Villages seem really important to me here. Uh, get the ranger token down. I'm going to pass up a trash in order to buy a pixie. 
because Pixies seem really valuable. And I, again, bottom deck both, both Falconers, which was quite lucky. Because I can activate them right now. And then gain the village and Ranger and draw to start. Uh, Sky's Gift is kind of useless, but Forest Gift is nice. I'm surprised I didn't take Forest Gift. The other two are kind of so-so, but Forest Gift seems like it's usually pretty strong here. Um, they played their goat twice more than me. Maybe not. They're getting a ranger. And okay, so they didn't activate me here, which is not the end of the world. Um, so what do I want to put into this shuffle? Um, uh, farming village and another falconer. Um, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, it does. Falconer activates itself, right? So I can just gain one silver, buy a falconer, add a farming village to the deck. Top deck the ranger, which is super nice. I feel like there's almost no amount of... I'm, I'm happy to just keep gaining falconers here. Especially with the farming villages, I can... Gain and play stuff with Falconer or gain and butterfly stuff, even like butterfly, um, butterfly and something into Swamp Pegs is potentially useful here. Getting that into play if you can draw. Um, they're a little bit thinner than me, I think. Um, play as a goat. I've played a goat a couple, one, twice more than me, perhaps. Um, I didn't find my goat last turn, but I'm about to draw big with the ranger here. Um, okay, um, I think I'm always gaining this last village on this turn, so I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Um, get the ranger token down. I will take plus two cards, thank you. Um, so we're very close to this game ending. That's somewhat important to note. Um, what do I want with this other falconer? Um, I could grab an advisor. I could just grab another another ranger. Um, I have one more village down there. So if I grab an advisor and play an advisor, I'm going to get to play the ranger probably. I'm going to get to play the farming village. What else do I have down there? Another... Probably just junk. Is one advisor worth it for my deck? Um, I can always butterfly it next turn. Yeah, okay. It was one farming village. Um, so it doesn't matter what they deny. Um, oh, that is another really good, really good boon because I can now grab two more Pixies. Um, and what's the plan here? I can just buy a two Coppers and two Pixies down there so I don't want to trigger a Shuffle. Um, okay, I need to buy some green now, it looks like, um, because the game is very close to ending. On piles, so I will grab one duchy. Issue is that um, butterfly lets you compete piles, although you can't really butterfly farming villages. You can only butterfly rangers here, and you need those to draw. But I've rolled Earth's gifts twice. Um, that's quite nice. So I can falconer for ranger, uh, butterfly for falconer. Um, I just need to find enough villages to make it work. Field's Gift is, is actually quite nice with that respect. Um, because you can get more actions to gain play stuff. I would be strongly counting those out if I were Dr. Steelhammer. Um, they're, fine. they're gaining and playing a Swamp Hag. I think I'm able to pile out without doing that. Okay. So what am I gaining here? 
Um, okay. I don't know what just happened. Okay, they gained a silver. Um, I don't think they can. They have enough actions to pile out, right? They have one more village, four things, and a buy. And they want to play the... How many rangers do they have? They don't have four costs to return. So... I think my plan is to grab a ranger and an advisor and plan on not playing the advisor and returning it. Um, that will be the plan. And if I need to play it, obviously I can. But I have five villages. So with five villages, I just need to find... Okay, they got a province and there's a swamp hag in play. Okay, so I'm probably not going to pile out here, but we'll see. I'll play the ranger first. I'm playing all, always playing all the villages. Okay, we're quite close here. Um, I can get three. I think I'm going to play these duchies or these uh, pixies first. Um, I can put stuff on top of the deck, but I'm not thinking it's super useful. All right, so what can I do here? I can gain four falconers, buy a falconer, and um, sorry, I can gain four falconers, buy a falconer, and I lose by. Uh, hold on, let me. I, I I butterfly four falconers. I buy a falconer. They, I get a curse from the falconer, and the buying the falconer lets me gain an estate. But I still need to find a duchy in there somewhere, so I need to play this advisor. I assume they're going to deny me the farming village. But we'll see. They did. So the bottom two cards are falconer. Um, falconer farming village. So I can gain three Falconers here. Um, sorry, our Copper, bottom two cards are Copper, Copper Duchy, something like that. Falconer Duchy, okay. So I guess I'm playing this Advisor. I'm gonna deny the Farming Village again. So let me look at other piles that I can, I can potentially, um, potentially maneuver. Um, so I can gain like a pearl diver here to draw the farming village. I'm not not sure what that does for me. Um, I can gain two falconers. I can gain. <laughs> what can I do here? I'm gonna take one curse, I guess, is the point. Um, and they're gonna try to pile next turn. So I really need to find a pile out this turn, and I've played too many cards already. Okay. So. Falconer for what? So I could play the Falconers non-terminally to gain stuff if I were to gain anything. So I can Ranger for a Swamp Hag. And I can play all three Falconers to gain something that I want to gain. Um, I can Ranger for a Falconer. Play all three Falconers to gain something. Yeah, I just am short on actions and this, this missing this village is, is painful. Um... So I do want to return one of these rangers. I want to play the other one. Um, well, okay. So if I if I falconer if I return a ranger for us for a falconer, I can play two falconers non terminally to gain two rangers and a vagrant. Um, I play the vagrant. Um, a pearl diver probably does the same thing. Um, so, so two rangers and a vagrant, I play the vagrant, 
Um, sorry. Um, so Ranger to Falconers, four Falconers, um, gain two more Rangers, um, and a Pearl Diver, play the Pearl Diver, either draw the Falconer or the Village. If I play the Village, I play the Village, draw that. I return three Falconers. I have eight money. Um, I have no way to gain the last, um, no way to gain the last Falconer. Um, and score, because I need to return four things, five things, and I only have one, two, three, four returns, I think, possible. Um, because I only have three actions, is that right? I only have three four-cost actions that I can return. So if that's the case, then I really would like to um, get a Swamp Hag into play to mess with them. So I'm going to turn a Ranger into a Swamp Hag. And then I can gain um, just like two Vagrants. Um, as lame as that sounds. Um, so I can draw both of those. I can gain a Vagrant and an Advisor, I guess. Um, and with the third one, I can gain like a Silver, just another Advisor. as a pile that they can't really touch and gives me Overdraw next turn. Um, okay, they're able to activate their Falconer, unfortunately. Pretty sure I counted this out, right? Okay, I'm just playing that to draw one, and then I've got the Vagrant as well. So I can get that into play, and get the Swamp Hag into play. Uh, I don't want to return a Farming Village. I could return an Advisor for another Swamp Hag with an amount of actions. I could also return an Advisor for a Duchy. That seems worthwhile. Turn it for a duchy, and then play eight. I'll take one curse, but I get a province. So, and I have a swamp hag in play. So they've got to both pile. They've got to both pile, and um, the curse will lose the losing ties. I've got to both pile and estate. This is basically all of their four costs here, right? I've got one more village. Um, so are they just going to max max out the green here? Oh, we're always denying the falconer. Doesn't seem like they have butterfly tricks available to them right now. Yeah, so I was down 3 VP at the beginning of that turn, and I had one um, I had one curse gain coming up, so that meant that was difficult for me to make up that ground. I needed to make up a full three points. Um, and I don't think I could have gotten there, but if somebody posted later that there was a line that won for me, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, so now where we are, I'm interested by that. Okay, they just wanted to get the token down. So I assume they're just going to buy Province, but then they're up by... Okay, they're going to go Province Duchy. Okay, so I win now by just Butterflying for all the Duchies. How would that work? I just need to... Well, I, need, I can buy one Duchy and Butterfly for four. Buy some Advisors. Probably, yeah, so Pixie Boons will help me a lot, actually. Play the Vagrant. This does the maximum amount of draw, I think. So I'll play this first. Okay. Four. So this is five money, but not enough four costs, it looks like. Is it? Okay, so I can return the Advisor for a Duchy. I can gain three rangers by two rangers. That doesn't seem like it, does it? Um, so I'm going to play this advisor then. Yuck. Okay. So they have discarded for me in this turn a farming village. Farming village. Pixie. 
Farming Village, Pixie Ranger are the three cards in my discard pile. So let's pause and see if I can win here again. I didn't see it before. Farming Village, Pixie Ranger are all cards that I want to draw. Um, so I can just gain another advisor. Farming Village, Pixie Ranger. Yeah. I thought I would be closer than this. So I can gain... Uh, I'm just somewhat short on gains here. I've got, what, 10, 11 money, potentially. I need to gain another advisor here. Um, the bottom card is... a ranger? No, it was a province. Okay. Um, that doesn't really help me here, unfortunately. Keep. Okay, so I've got 10, 11. So I can play the Ranger now to get the token down. Um, what are my bottom two cards? Um, what are my bottom two cards? So I've discarded... Pixie, a farming village. Um, oh, there's a province and a duchy down there. So I need to trigger a clean shuffle here. Is advisor too risky? Feels pretty risky to me. What if I gain two rangers and play them both? Um, that seems pretty awful. I'm lowering piles pretty pretty aggressively here. Oh, okay, it was another pixie. So I'm going to be able to draw here for whatever that's worth. I don't think I have a win anymore. Um, I am at the ability to buy two duchies. Um, we'll see what the pixie, the pixie does for me. I don't think there's ever a reason to return it. Oh, that's really nice. So that's 8, 10, 11, 13. So, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13 money. So, what can we do with 13 money? We can buy three advisors and take... Oh, they don't have a, they don't have a haunted woods in play. So I can buy three advisors, gain an advisor here, and then buy return ranger for duchy. All right, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I can... Gain an advisor, return the ranger for a province, and then this is three piles, and I have a one-point lead, and they don't have a haunted woods in play. Okay, found it eventually. That was not the one I was going for. Perhaps I got a little bit lucky there, but I felt like my deck was in a little bit better shape. Um, took me a little bit longer than I would have liked, but eventually found it. Um, and I take a 2-1 lead, moving into game four. 